Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. We're going to see what's going on with you guys in love, okay? All right, my loves. I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Love life. I know right now, present moment, today is what, August 7th? Tomorrow is going to be the Lions. Well, the Lions Gate portal actually opened at the end of July. But tomorrow is the like the, the true window of opportunity. Whereas you guys, that's your time. If like if there's something in your love life where you feel the need to be a tad bit selfish, that that's the time. Now is the time. Now is the time for you guys to be selfish in love. Um, there's a window, there's a portal that is open. Um, it offers new beginnings. It offers new beginnings and love. A lot of you guys, now is a time for reflection on past situations, past relationships, and thinking of ways that you can resolve issues with the uh, resolve issues moving forward with someone here that you have love for. Because there's a big energy for a lot of you guys right now, present moment. There is someone here that you have love for. And right now, present moment, what do we have? We have the sun in Leo. That talks a lot about having courage. A lot of you guys right now, present moment, it's about you finding the courage to seek and go after the things that you want. There's a lot of energy right now, present moment, surrounding you guys. It's about self-discovery. For some of you guys... There's a strong intimate energy right now, present moment, a strong sexual desire right now, present moment, whether it be with you or it be with somebody that you're actually involved with or somebody that you're interacting with. Because right now, present moment, we have the sun in Leo. We also have two retrogrades and a third retrograde that's going to be coming in. Um, and I feel like there's a surrounding energy right now, present moment for a lot of you guys, whereas you're not wanting to accept scraps. You're not wanting to be second best. There's an energy surrounding a lot of you guys. Like you're not settling. You're not settling for somebody else's scraps. You're not settling for second best. There's a big, big energy. I feel like right now, present moment, especially with the sun and Leo, especially with this um, Lionsgate portal that's open. That's opened. The, the door is opened. But we're going full force into it with, with, within the night and tomorrow itself. There's a lot of energy surrounding self-love. There's a lot of energy surrounding you guys. You need to be brave. Not only be brave, but be compassionate and also practice patience. Right now, present moment, there's an energy of you guys needing to temper yourself because there's a lot of emotions flowing in the air. There's a lot of energetic energy that's flowing in the air, meaning like for a lot of you guys, I'm telling you like that you could have a lot of desires rushing up like sexual desires, desires of I want what I want when I want it. For some of you guys, this could be you or somebody that's in your energy because there's a big energy of that as well. Because like, like I said, we have this window of opportunity. When the Lionsgate portal time comes, that's when, that's when we can ask for the things that we want, not the things that we need. We ask for the things that we desire. The, what, what do you desire? It offers a new beginning in you guys getting things that you desire. It's not about what you want. This is a time of being a tad bit selfish. It is. It is a time of being a tad bit selfish. This is the one time of the year, whereas there's an actual portal that opens and says, okay, you can be a tad bit selfish. <laughs> so now is the time for you guys to ask for what it is that you want and ask for what you want out loud. Like if you want someone to see you, it's like, do you see me? If you want somebody to choose you, if you don't choose me, then I will do this, this, and this. You see that? That's a big, big energy. For a lot of you guys, your spirit guides wants you to ask for what it is that you want and ask for what it is that you want out loud. I feel like for some of you guys, it's asking for your respect. Asking for your respect. Asking for that reciprocity, that equal give and take. For some of you guys, if you've been in a relationship for forever and you've been waiting on somebody to give you a ring or somebody to say that, oh, I love you. Oh, I want to move on to the next phase. Now is the time because right now, present moment, the energy is like now is the time that it, that you're going to that you can actually get what you want. You have a better chance of getting what it is that you want, not only because we have the sun in Leo, which talks a lot about courage, 
talks about a lot about courage when it comes to love and relationships it talks a lot about you taking control yeah this is a lot of energy right now present moment with a lot of you guys you're not accepting scraps you're not accept accepting second best we also have what is tomorrow tomorrow is august 8th we have the Lionsgate portal yes but we also have the number eight the number eight talks about abundance it talks about achievements and it also talks about karmic debts so make sure you're on the right side of that karmic debt. There's a big, big energy for you guys to make sure that you guys are on the right side of that karmic debt. This is also the time where the material world con like, combines with the spiritual world. There's a lot of moving parts right now. There's a lot of overflow of energy right now, present moment. Big, big energy. So we have openness and we have patience. When I split the deck, I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is, this is the time for you to be open to receive but also be patient. There's also a lot of a lot of energy for you guys to practice patience, but also be open to receive. I feel like reci reciprocity, the respect that you deserve. This is you being open to receive. Like for some of you guys, I feel like there's an energy here where you may have not been getting what it is that you want out of a connection, out of a relationship. And this is the time where your spirit guides are like, okay, you have been patient now, as I see 555 on the clock, when I'm looking this way on the clock, there's a change that's about to happen in, for a lot of you guys when it comes to relationships, when it comes to when it comes to your love life. And the reason why I keep shuffling these cards is because it's like different downloads come through as I'm shuffling the cards. We see a lot of success and we see changes coming into you guys' life. So I told you right now, present moment is a time of abundance, especially tomorrow when that Lionsgate portal opens because you have that eight. And you have that eight and it talks a lot about achievements talks a lot about abundance talks a lot about that's a that's a portal a portal of opportunity to bring change ask for what it is that you want what do you want i'm talking about dig deep there's an energy for you guys you need to dig deep what is it that you want because right now present moment is, is the perfect time it offers you some new beginnings perfect window of opportunity that's offering you guys some new beginnings to have the things that you want not things that's technically necessary <laughs> it might not be because you know <laughs> um there's some i feel like for a lot of you guys there's some fun there's some fun energy simplicity and we have trust we have leadership and we have courage so for, i feel like for some of you guys you're not asking for much when it comes to love and when it comes to relationship you, you, what you're asking for is somebody here that you can depend on, somebody here that you can trust. For some of you guys, you're asking for somebody here that, yes, that you can trust, somebody here that's going to step up and lead, somebody that's worthy of you following them. This is about being courageous, though. You guys, you have to be courageous. You have to be brave, but you also want somebody that is courageous and somebody that is brave, somebody that's going to step up and lead, somebody that's going to step up and fight for you. There's a big, big energy for a lot of you guys. You're not asking for much. You're really and truly, you're not asking for much. You're really and truly not. Oh, that's a nice energy. That's really and truly a nice energy for you guys. I do not feel like you guys are asking for much, really and truly, when it comes to love and relationships. You're asking for someone here that's going to step up and lead. Somebody here that you can trust. But you guys, you do have to be courageous I feel like for a lot of you guys, I'm telling you, now is the time to speak on what it is that you want. If you don't want it, you need to say, I don't want it. If you don't want it, you need to really and truly say, I don't want it. I'm sorry, but I don't want it. Like, I want what I want. Because <laughs> there's a big energy for a lot of you guys. Like, what you're getting is not what you want. It's, I'm not saying that it's not some of what you want, but I feel like there's so much more that you guys want when it comes to love and when it comes to relationship. I feel like a lot of you guys, it's like, I feel like if you want something, if you want someone to act some type of way, if you want something out of a relationship, especially a love relationship, you have to speak it into existence. You have to stand up for yourself. I don't know why I'm hearing fight for your rights because I feel like for a lot of you guys, like, you know how a lot of times Virgos can be a tad bit intimidating. Virgos can come across as being so forceful, so strong, and like, just kind of like, I want it, that's it. There's no it, bit, nothing about it. So I feel like for some of you guys, there's an energy here of you like trying to not 
be that, trying to be something that you're not. And I feel like now is not the time for that. I feel like now is not the time for that. Now is the time for you guys to be your true self. Seek, speak. I don't know why I'm saying, why I'm hearing seek, but seek after the things that you want. Speak on what it is that you want. And I feel like it's a lot to do with your love in relationships. It says celebration, fun, unbridly and brittled joy, open heart. I'm telling you guys, you got to stay open. Open your heart to receive. I feel like for some of you guys, there is, I don't want to say a fear because I'm not really and truly getting a fear in this energy. What I'm getting is like, why should I? <laughs> like, that's kind of what I'm hearing. That's kind of what I'm hearing with you guys. I do see celebration. I do see you guys having some fun. I do. I feel like for a lot of you guys right now, present moment, you could have somebody that's in your energy and this person is trying to bust through the 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 chains that you have tied up on this heart of yours i really and truly feel that in the energy it says the pink dolphin so i feel like for a lot of you guys right now present moment there's an energy of celebration there's some fun that's happening that's some fun that's going to happen there's some joy that's coming into your life and i feel like this joy is coming through you opening your heart there's someone here in you guys energy for a lot of you guys, there is someone here in your energy. This person's going to open your heart, bring something, some excitement into your life. Some excitement and some joy. It says, ancient wisdom water codes. The intelligence is within you. Oh, wow, you guys, you are actually bringing in whoever this person is. This person is extremely intelligent. Whoever this person that you, that's coming into your life, that's bringing, that you're bringing into your life, this person is extremely intelligent, Extreme, extremely intelligent. I feel like there's a lot of, like you can talk to this person. There's a lot of conversation here, but there's intellectual conversation. It's just, it's not dumbed down. That's what I'm really and truly getting in this energy. Like the conversation with this person, I feel like it's not dumbed down. This is whether you're with somebody now or this is somebody that's coming into your life. I feel like for a lot of you guys, I'm telling you, like, the, I feel the energy of the person that's in your energy or that's coming into your energy. This person is, I'm hearing, it's just what the doctor ordered. Like, I don't know who this message is for, but I'm feeling and I'm hearing like it's just what the doctor ordered. Somebody here that is coming in like a leader that you can follow this person. I feel like for a lot of you guys, yes, it's going to take courage. It's going to take courage to trust this person because... There's a very dynamic energy here. There's a very fearful dynamic energy. Now that I feel the fear. You truly opening up your heart, you truly letting this person in, you truly letting your guard down. There's fear in that. I feel that fear. I do feel that fear. And why is because it's like questioning, can you trust this person? Sometimes it may feel too good to be true, but this person, I feel like with this person, I feel like this person gets to you on a very intellectual front. I feel like there's a very intellectual front as to what how this person gets to you. I feel like it's easy, though. I feel like it's easy. Whether this is somebody that you're with right now, present moment, or this person's coming in, I feel like it's easy to talk to this person. I feel like it's extremely easy. Show me. So we have bounteous, gener generously given, relationships, coming together look at that you guys you got relationships forming here you and somebody you're coming together together and there's a lot of generosity between you and this person like there's an equal give and take i feel like i i'm gonna satisfy you you're gonna satisfy me that's what i'm getting from this um there's a relationship that's forming for you guys but this talks about like total status, like you satisfying this person this person satisfying you this talks about reciprocity this talks about that equal give and take. This talks about somebody coming in to open up that heart. Somebody's coming in to open you up wide if they're not already here. That's a good energy. And then we have ride the waves, life lessons and growth. You will get through this. You're going to get through this. Some of you guys right now, present moment, you're, you're very emotional over a loss. You're extremely emotional over a loss right now, present moment. Your spirit guides are saying that you're going to get through this. You're going to get through this on the other side of this, and it's going to be better. I just got for somebody here, you could really and truly be going through a very emotional time with someone that you're dealing with right now, present moment. This person has failed you, but this person's going to make it up to you. This person has failed you, but this person will make it up to you. Yeah. 
Your spirit guide says there's a lot of life lessons and there's a lot of growth from these life lessons. I feel like I just got for some of you guys, you yourself, you, if something has happened between you and your mate, you and your partner, however this goes, I feel like there's a, there's like a self-discovery here. There's a relationship discovery here where somebody, where both parties see their faults. And I feel like that's where the growth is coming in. Like this is acknowledgement of faults. This is not pointing the finger. This energy that I'm getting straight through this card, this is not about pointing the finger. Nobody's pointing the finger because there's it's two, two, two wrongs don't make a right. And it takes two to tangle. It takes two no matter what. And I feel like this is that energy. I really and truly feel like this is that energy. Your spirit guide says for you to ride the waves. Things will be better on the other side of this. Things will be better on the other side of this, my loves. It will. It's That's a nice, nice energy. Bottom of the deck, we have more metamorphosis. Embrace transformation. Things are now different. I'm telling you, things are about to be different. Like if you're in a connection right now, present moment, there's going to be changes in this connection. If you're not, the person that's coming in is going to be different. It's going to be different with that person. It really and truly is going to be different with that person. Yeah. Giving from a place of plenty. Wow, that's a nice energy. Like, a, you know how you have that type of love, that type of fulfillment, like bursting of joy. I don't know why I'm getting that energy for you guys, like bursting of joy, like being loved properly. There's an energy of for some of you guys, it's like being loved properly. That's a different type of feeling. That's a different, a different type of feeling, being loved properly. And I feel like there's a group of you guys, you feel this right now, present moment, or there's a group of you guys, you're going towards this feeling. And I'm talking about like bursting of joy, bursting of fulfillment. Like, can't imagine someone that can make you feel the way that this person will make you feel. And you know what I'm getting out of this? I'm getting like that Diary of a Mad Black Woman, the way Shamar Moore was towards Elise. Elise, I can't think of Elise's last name. And how he was just so sweet. I'm also getting that other Tyler Perry movie where the one sister who had, she was married to Blair Underwood. What was that girl's name? And it was like the family reunion or something like that. She was married to Blair Underwood and Blair Underwood was so abusive. And the sister who had been in bad relationships, finally she came across this guy. He was a bus driver, guys. Let me know in the comments the name of these movies. And he was a bus driver. And or tell me if you know what I'm talking about. And I'm talking about that man came in and he catered to her wounds. Like, I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's an energy here of someone coming in and catering to your wounds. That's a, that's a big energy. That's a, that's a good energy. That's a very significant energy. That's a very significant person. It takes a very special person to come into your life and make you feel the way that I feel like this person's going to make you feel. That takes a that takes a different type of person. That takes a that takes a very special person, but it also takes you being open to receive it. You have to you have to be open to receive that kind of love as well. And let me tell you, not everything's gonna be all peaches and cream. Not every day is gonna be a good day. And I tell you guys that there is some things that you may have to go through. But when you get someone that's willing to work with you. Somebody here that you can trust, somebody here that you can follow. Because for a lot of you guys, this energy is telling me that this is going to be somebody that you can follow. This is someone that you can follow. It's I see that it's going to take courage, though, on your part. I see that it's going to take courage on your part. For some of you guys, you know, I'm telling you, you have right now is that portal. What do you want? You need to speak it into the world. What is it that you want when in love and in relationships? What do you want? Like, what do you want? I feel like right now, present moment, guys, you need to speak that into existence. What is it that you want? You want someone that is a leader to where you can follow this person. You want someone that is going to fight for you and fight for the relationship. You want someone that you can trust. You want someone that you are good enough. I feel like there's a big energy here right now, present moment. A lot of you guys, like you want someone that they see you and you are good enough. You want that. This person wants that. I feel like right now, present moment, guys, you need to ask the universe for that. But you have to stay open to receive this. You have to stay open to receive this. I do see a relationship coming together for you guys. 
I do see growth. I do see that some of you guys are going through some things with your partner right now, present moment, but your spirit guides are saying that you're going to get through this. Your spirit guides are going to say you're going to have to toughen some things out, though. There's some things that you guys will need to toughen out. There's some big, big energy. There's some things that you guys will need to toughen out. Things are now different. There are some things that's going to be extremely different in your life. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're different. You're not the same. You yourself, you are not the same. There are some changes that has happened in your life. I feel like if you're in something right now, present moment with someone, this person's going to see that you're not the same person that you used to be. You're going to see that this person, but this is this this talks about valuing each other. I'm definitely getting an injury for a lot of you guys. Like this is about two people valuing each other's preferences, each other's differences, each other's desires, each other's wants, needs. This is not about being selfish in this energy. This is not about being selfish. The only selfish that you guys need to have is being selfish in, in each other's energy and each other's company, separating your relationship, your connection from the outside world. There's an energy here of you guys needing to bring it on back in. There's an energy here of you guys needing to really and truly focus on yourself. And that's going to take courage. For some of you guys dealing with fixing a relationship, rectifying a situation, getting what it is that you want, it's going to take courage. Courage in opening up your heart because there is a fear in that. There's a fear in that as well. Yeah. Show me spirit. Show me what it is I need to see. For my Virgos and the person. That's in their love energy. Show me. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Luck is on your side. Your dreams need a practical plan. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Taurus. Be, real, be realistic about that situation. It says nothing will come of this situation. So for some of you guys right now, present moment, you could be dealing with a Taurus. And your spirit guides are saying there's nothing that's going to come out of this situation, whatever the situation is with this person. And I feel like it can go two different ways. Whereas some of you guys, your spirit guides are saying it's like be practical. Like don't, there's an energy here of needing to, I don't want to say dumb things down, but there's an energy here of needing to simplify a situation seeing something for what it really and truly is. I feel like for some of you guys, if you're dealing with a Taurus, there could be something that makes you feel some type of way. That's kind of what I'm getting in that energy. Like you could be dealing with a Taurus right now, present moment, and or somebody that has Taurus as their moon sign. And I feel like you could be feeling like some type of way, like something is nagging at you about the situation, about this person or about dealing with this person. Your spirit guides are saying nothing is going to come of this situation. I feel like for some of you guys, like you may blow something out of proportion or you may take something the wrong way. And there's an energy here of kind of, I don't know, I keep hearing dumbing something down, but it's like more simplifying. Seeing it, seeing it. You know how we, we, we can overthink a situation. I feel like for some of you guys, there's a, there's a lot of overthinking of this situation. That you need to kind of tone that down. There's an energy there. And then we have luck is on your side. You and your loved ones are safe. Some of you guys could dealing with a Sagittarius or a Cancer. I feel like it's safe to love this person. Like, I feel like there's an energy here of someone here meaning well. There's an energy here of some of you guys, you may be doubting. You may be doubting. Really and truly, if you're dealing with a Cancer or Sagittarius right now, present moment, you may be doubting this person's words. You may be doubting if you can trust this person. Yeah, you may be doubting if this person is going to come through for you. The Spirit is saying luck is on your side in this connection. Some of you guys could be dealing with a cancer right now, present moment. And it's like, can this person, will this person step up and lead? Will this person be the leader that I need this person to be? I feel like this person is going to surprise you. I definitely feel like this person is definitely going to surprise you. There's a big, big energy of this person surprising you. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, we have your commitment is being tested. Yeah, that's all through this reading. That's all through this reading. You guys, commitment are being tested right now, present moment. Loyalty and commitment, trust, courage. 
Do you have the courage? Are you truly in this? Like you want someone to be in this? Like, are you truly in this? There's an energy here of putting the shoe on the other foot. Are you in this? Being in this is like, you have to go through some things sometimes. And being in this really and truly too is about you. How committed are you to living your best life? How committed are you to finding the relationship or to truly being in a sustainable relationship? Because you yourself, you're being tested as well. How committed are you to find love, to fight for love, to be loved? How committed are you? Yeah, to have what it is that you want. How committed are you? There's a big energy. Show me spirit. Whoa. That card just wanted to come out. Wow. I love that card. This is the first card that flew out on this deck was abundance. Look at that. I feel like this is like two pieces to a pod. I feel like you got something to bring to the table. This person that you're dealing with has something to bring to the table. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with somebody or somebody could be coming into your life. This person has a lot of fortune. This person is wealthy or this person has plenty to offer. I'm also getting knowledge. I feel like for a lot of you guys, the person that you're dealing with or the person that's coming into your energy, this person is very knowledgeable, extremely knowledgeable. And then we have hidden knowledge, side and understanding. Look at that. You and this person, you understand each other. You get it. Like, I feel like for a lot of you guys, the person that you're dealing with, other person that's coming into your life, this is going to be somebody here that under, that they, you, y'all get each other. That's a good energy. It's like, y'all get each other. Y'all have that understanding. It says calming the waters, peaceful self-regulation. Let's keep it gravy. <laughs> like, let's keep the peace. Why do I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is somebody here like placing their hands on your chest and just being like, breathe. Like you're losing your shit. Like this is like an energy of somebody here losing their shit and somebody here, but like, just breathe. Like just calm down. It's, it's going to be okay. See, this is somebody taking charge. This is somebody here that knows how you are. For a lot of you guys, this is what I'm getting in this energy. Somebody here that knows how to regulate you. Somebody here that can teach you how to self-regulate yourself, that anxiety that brews up inside of you. Like, I feel like there's an energy here of somebody here that can just be like, just breathe. There's a big, big energy. I feel like some of you guys, you need this. <laughs> I feel like some of you guys, you need this. You know how Virgos are, we lose our shit sometimes. That happens, you know, that happens. <laughs> All right, my loves, let's get into this. Put these cards on the right side. Let's see, tell me spirit, the person that my Virgo is currently dealing with or that is coming into my Virgo's life, what do we need to see? What do we need to see about the person my Virgo is currently dealing with? Page of Pentacles, so there's a new offer here. There's something new here brewing. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. This could be somebody younger or somebody that is a slight bit immature. Or somebody here that has a small, minute offer. Guys, you know you, you you get that very often. I do find that you guys get that very often. Like, whatever offer you get, they don't be on a grand scale. Like, it don't be full force, oh, I love you, I want to marry you. They always come in with a little something-something. Just a little something-something. Show me. The wheel. But look at that. This is a faded connection. This is going to allow some forward movement in your life. The will is turning. It's a good offer. A good offer. Eight of Cups. For some of you guys, this is somebody that you've tried to walk away from or that has tried to walk away from you. This is somebody here that could be emotionally detached. You may not really and truly know what's up with this person. You may not even really and truly know what's up with this person. What is this person feeling? There's some emotional detachment between you and this person. For a lot of you guys, this is somebody here that's coming back. They tried to distance themselves. They tried to fight their feelings, but they're coming right on back in. Yeah, Ace of Swords to speak their truth, to clear the air. Somebody here wants to speak their truth. Somebody here wants to clear the air. Big energy. Show me. Ten of Swords. Ace of Cups. This person has an offer. Page of Cups, an offer of love. I want to date you. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry what I've done to you. For a lot of you guys, like, yeah, this person can't, they can't, they can't do no worse. <laughs> like, whatever this person's done, they can't do no worse. Like, Ace of Cups, and we have the Page of Cups. So some of you guys could be a younger Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy or somebody here. Like, there's an offer here. There's an offer here on the table for you guys. There's an offer of love and emotions on the table for you guys. This is not a grand scale offer. This is not, oh, we we doing this. This is like, oh, let's, let's try and see what's up. There's a let's try and see what's up here. Yeah. Show me spirit. There's a new beginning. Some, some of you guys are scared of this. Somebody's scared, whether it's you or this person, five of swords. Yeah, there's so much internal fear. Lord, help me, Jesus and the fool. Look at that. There's so much internal conflict. For some of you guys, you and this person being together itself is a conflict. There's challenges in just being with this person. For some of you guys, the challenge in being with this person comes from other people knowing your business, other people being a part of this. For some of you guys, there's a history here. There's a history between you and this person. There's a history with this person. Like, you know, somebody that comes from something different. There's some, there's some attention here that someone's wanting to try and avoid, but it's like somebody can't fight their feelings either, though. Somebody can't fight their feelings either. Somebody's scared of being foolish. Somebody's scared of being played. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you've dealt with this person. You and this person, you may have history. This is giving me an energy of a not, not first go round here. This is giving me an energy of not first go round for some of you guys. When this person wanted you, you didn't want them. Or when you wanted them, they didn't want you. And here, somebody comes right on back around. Somebody's had a change of heart. There's an energy here of somebody having a change of heart. Hmm. Yeah. That's the conflict. That's the challenge. For some of you guys, there's an energy here of steel, like somebody, huh, you know, I keep getting it, keep getting that shit. <laughs> somebody not being too sure about what they want. They so scary. <laughs> we have the nine of cups in the world here with the ten of cups that came out in the reverse. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's an energy here. Like if this doesn't work out, like somebody is not going to be happy at all. Somebody's not going to be satisfied. I feel like this is kind of a mutual energy between you and this person. I feel like for a lot of you guys, yes, this could be this person. I feel like there's an energy here of can't live without. Can't do without. Like I've tried, but I can't. For some of you guys, this person is still trying, still trying to fight these feelings, but they can't. Like there's an energy here of somebody really and truly trying to do something different, but they can't. For some of you guys, yes, the sex between you and this person is good. For some of you guys, this is why there is always unfinished business between you and this person. If this person is not with you, this person, they may come across as if they're happy. They're not. If you, you may come across as if you're happy. You are not. There's an energy here. Not, not trying to be content, but not quite content. Trying to be happy, but not quite happy. There's some unfinished business here. There's a lot of energy here of unfinished business. Yeah. Strength, Leo, energy. Somebody has to be courageous. Somebody has to be courageous. Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. Yeah, you guys, you have to find the courage to fight for this, to fight for whatever this is, because y'all not, y'all not letting go. Like, you're not letting each other go. Look at that. There's going to be a rebirth. Six of Swords, this person could have moved on to Karma Waters. You could have tried to move on to Karma Waters, but this is an ending that is and it is not happening. There's a transformation here. Look at that. Embrace transformation. Things are now different. This person's coming towards you different. This person's here different. Somebody's not the way they used to be. There is changes that have happened. There is a transformation that has happened. There's been some things, but this is a wish. Like, this is a soulmate connection. Look at this. This is a faded connection. A faded soulmate connection. 
this is some strong feelings. <laughs> like, this is a strong connection. Like, y'all can play around all y'all want. <laughs> like, I truly feel like y'all can play around all y'all want. It is what it is. <laughs> like, like y'all can play around all y'all want. It is what it is. Let's see. How does my Virgo feel about this person? How does my Virgo... I wish I could take back my words. What you said? <laughs> You might have been a little too harsh and you might have hurt somebody's ego. Did you? Did you hurt somebody's ego? You know, Virgos have a tendency to do that sometimes. You're already intimidating. Why would you? <laughs> Show me spirit. Wow. Okay. I want to feel that way again. You still want to feel this person though. You still want this person's love, this person's attention. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff you still want from this person. There's a lot of stuff you still want from this person. How does this person feel about my Virgos? Finding out the truth crushed me. What did you do? What did you do? Show me. I don't know why I just got it's like two can play that game. If you're gonna do, I'm gonna do. Like, some of you guys could have moved on to somebody else intentionally, yes, but it was intentionally to hurt this person, to make this person see that you can do this, you can match their energy, you can, you, somebody else is going to want you just the same. Some of you guys, you may have tried to actually truly move on from this person, and yet it didn't work out the way that you thought it was going to work out. This person's still energetically in your energy. But this person, this person feels some type of way. Why? Because for some of you guys, you tapped into this person's ego. You hurt this person's ego. There's an energy here. There's an energy. You and I were too young. So for a lot of you guys, when you met this person, you both weren't ready. But this person does wish they treated you better. I feel like there's, it's, there's a timing factor with you and this person. I feel like there's a big old timing factor with you and this person. Yeah. Let's see. What's the advice, spirit? What's the advice for my Virgos? And love and relationships. Spiritual narcolepsy. Falling angel. I saw this card earlier today when I was shuffling these cards. Hmm. I feel like it's like a deep dive. I feel like it's, it's, I feel like for a lot of you guys, your spirit guides are wanting you. There's a deep dive here. This is like falling. This is like fall into it. This is like take a chance. Like, I feel like this is like take a chance, take a risk. There's an energy here of risking it all, intentionality. Intentionally intentionally risk it all intentionally take that leap of faith intentionally go forward this is like flying free there is no there is no knee pads <laughs> like there is no headgear this is this is a sense of freedom this is a sense of what what shall be shall be there's a big big energy here all right, my loves, that is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, bye guys.